In the previous episode, we cleared some bushes, flattened out this area and built our very first train tracks and, of course, our very first little train. We then laid some tracks all the way from our starter base area, all the way to the mesa biome, where we will be turning red sand into gold nuggets and even some dead bushes. But before we can start with today's project, we need to gather up all the resources we're going to need to create this gold farm and also we have a train to name. As always, you guys came up with so many cool names, but I have to admit there's one name that really stuck with me and I'm, I'm loving it. And I just want to give an honorable mention to the Ember Express. It is the most liked name and it's not going to be forgotten. No, no. I just think the Ember Express will work better for a train I've got planned in the future. So that's why this train, we're going to go with the name Bugsley as given by the Abominal. So let's head on over here. Let's just enter this and say Pugsley and there we go so this is our new train Pugsley <laughs> it's fantastic and like I said the MB Express name was the highest voted one but I'm not going to give it to this train no no I've got an idea for a future project with a future train in mind and that train will be the MB Express so thank you for that recommendation as well well, I do believe we have all the resources required to start this big project. So let's jump on into our train and head over to the Mesa. So we're currently in the Mesa in the location where I want to build the gold farm. And my general idea is to have the first phase of this farm maybe built into this mound where we export into the second phase, but somewhere over here to the third phase. And then just have this track run up against it make a turn and come back again so i think what i need to do is maybe do a bunch of planning mark out where i think what builds need to go and then we take it from there a lot of planning later but i do think i've got everything in here that is needed and that also means the train station is going to change a bit i want to have the train come in stop over here and then you can get off and from here you walk into this area we'll fix all of this but if you walk into this area i want this to be like a big courtyard we'll maybe do some trees but i want it to look like a, a mining town but then the whole process will happen over here so over here we'll have like a mine shaft type entrance where we have cobble cobble generators in there the cobble will come out into the first process which is the crushing of cobble to sand and then from here we will go into our first big storage buffer which will be sand clay and flint i won't be keeping flint in the vault itself i will do like a little chest down here or something a drawer that has some flint in it but the rest gets voided then from here we go into a second buffer which will just be the sand and clay and here we have the big processes so the first one will be washer to convert the rest of the sand to clay then we'll have mini buffers in between and then over here we'll compact clay balls to clay blocks Again, mini buffer, and on this side we'll do the smelting of clay to terracotta. And then from the storage buffer, the terracotta will move into a crushing system again that will crush terracotta to sand. Finally wash that to get some golden bushes, and then we'll have the storage of that. So I think what I need to do is maybe just prep the area a bit more, get some digging done in this area so we can fit our cobble farms in there and also a bunch of digging underground to make sure we've got enough areas and spaces for water, for water wheels to power this area because we're still going to stick with water wheels for now. So while I'm over there pretending to prepare this area for a new project, I thought I might take the time to ask you guys to subscribe. You see, out of all the viewers, only 16.6% .6 of you are subscribed. Come on. I know you want to click the button. Click it. Don't miss out. On the surface, it doesn't look like much has changed. We covered up some of the holes, but the true, true work that's been done is if we go into free cam and we go underground. We prepared this area for the cobble generator. We've created some long water tunnels for water wheels. I made them extra long. We might not even need that much, but rather longer and we have the space if we need to expand. So this is the area we're going to use for the cobble generators. And what I want to do is I want to create a cobble generator that has its own little storage underneath it 
but it also flows over to the next one and the next one before it goes to the big buffer over there and we're going to use more or less the same system we used for the iron farm and it's going to look something like this so we're going to have a total of what's that three four five six and on top of those we're going to do hoppers and the hoppers will feed into these vaults whenever blocks are broken on the sides of these hoppers we're just going to place some stairs all the way through and on the other side as well and then on top of the hoppers we're just going to do cobble and then facing into these cobble blocks we're just going to do our drills and it's six per side just like that and six on the other side and running into these drills we're just going to use our in case chain drive with this one pointing down and the same on the other side and that should be that part done now what we need to do is we need to place a bunch of trap doors on the sides and this is just going to be to keep the water in so we're going to do that to keep the water in but the middle two we're going to add two extra trap doors and these are mainly for the lava so let's just do four again and then also you can also do four at the bottom over here with the two over there for the lava now if you flip all of these up you should have more or less this shape so it's a two by eight a two by four and then a two on the top over there and before we add an alarm and close these up we're just going to add some water in here and with all those waterlogged we can just do stairs on top of these drills just like that now on top of the these cobblestone blocks we can just add our lava and with that lava place that should actually be the entire farm done now we just need to get water in here and i like to just use the gearboxes over here and over here we'll just rotate the gearbox and that one will just be to power the belt that runs between the two farms so we're just going to use the same in case drives that we have over here to power the next set of drills for the next farm so that makes it all very very easy but i think before we continue maybe let's hook up this farm over here just to make sure everything's perfect and everything's running so as you can see barely barely done there i added some water wheels i also did a rotational speed controller put that up to 128 and this thing is running and i also added the first little belt over here and what this will do is we'll actually have a second vault running over here for the second cobble generator but we'll just have this pulling out and putting into that so we have a bunch of overflow buffers and this thing is currently running only at like i said 128 so we might try and ramp it up a bit i don't know if it's going to be able to pull three cobble generators with the water wheels we have but there's only one way to find out and that is to build the other two cobble generators real quick so we've got all three the starter cobble generators in and it's very loud up yeah <laughs> but they're really working we've got a total of 7400 cobble in there already this one's empty out emptied out now and so is this one and they'll constantly produce cobble it's only currently running at 128 um rotations which i'm thinking is not fast enough we need to up that but to up that we're gonna have to expand the water wheel area because this thing is chowing power but for now that will have to do so i think next step is getting this up here and getting it into the crushing system which will crush it down from cobble to gravel and from gravel to sand and then we can also add the storage module over here so i think the first thing i'm going to do is add the storage module and then we'll go back and build the crushing wheel system we've got the storage all set up with the little dedicated storage for flint it just requires a void, up, void upgrade still but that's not a problem but the next part of this farm is to get the whole crushing system in and how i want to do that is i want to expand this all the way over here and we need to do a double crush meaning we need to take cobble and crush it into gravel and gravel into sand so we're gonna have to have a total of four crushing wheels on this line and to achieve that we've got a five by five so i'm just going to do temporary blocks over there over here on both sides and then on top of those we're just going to put down the crushing wheels lying down like that and we can remove these temporary little blocks and then right underneath these we're going to have to do our little gearboxes we're also going to put in shafts so we can reach the other side and gearboxes again and this should ensure that they spin the opposite directions but we still need to add power to this and our power is down here so we're going to add a bunch of water wheels again pull up the power and see how fast we can speed that up 
And with a simple connection like that, this whole thing is working. This belt's going the right way, that belt's going the right way, and these crushers <laughs> apparently are going the right way because they nearly killed me. So if we chuck down, let's say, cobble over here, 12, it will turn into gravel. Uh, there we go. And then from gravel, it will turn into sand, flint, and clay, which is perfect. And the flint should go in here. It did not. Why did it not go in there? Oh, we need to add a filter to the chute as well. Okay, so that's going to solve that problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to solve that problem. Just make sure all these belts look real nice. And then I'm going to add the chute over here to take out uh, the funnel over here to take the items out. So I did notice that the system's not keeping up with the input. So we've got quite a lot of cobble coming in, but not as much items going out. But luckily I designed this whole area with the thought of expansion in mind. So what we can do is we can have another belt come out the top and we can repeat this whole setup on top again and input on that same side over there. So I think I'm just quickly going to do that and let's just see if that helps a bit in the slightest. We've doubled up on the amount of crushing wheels we we're using, but still the output is not very constant it is a bit faster we also upped it to 256 rpm so hopefully it will be okay it will be enough but i was afk and just look at the amount of sand and clay we have and that's just this vault this one's already filled up all the way as well i also went ahead and added the conveyor belts in between that vault and the final storage over there so this area is ready for the next step in the process of this farm it's going to be washing compacting cooking and then we'll have terracotta by the time we reach the storage bin and the first section here is washing this is where we're going to take the remainder of our sand send it across the conveyor belt in front of a bunch of encased fans we wash the sand and they will all become clay and they will go into the storage over here so what we need to do is right over here run across a line of leaves i'll show you in a little bit why and then behind these we will put our encased fans that will face into them and then we do our encased chain drive like this with one on its side like that and that's basically it so what we can do is we can actually right click these and waterlog the leaves and they will actually hold the water without it flowing anywhere so we've connected up the power now that we got from down there again just water wheels we brought the power up and for now i just fed it into the conveyor belt and this is going the right way this is going the right way but now we need to see if we add a vertical gearbox over here what happens okay so see this is pulling in air so what we need to do is i'm going to go down and we're going to invert this so it goes the other way and now it should be pushing which is perfect but this is going the wrong way but we can simply fix that by just ripping that out and adding another gearbox right over there and with these funnels it's very important to place one down and then to change this value to exactly 16 because that's going to be the right amount of items to come through to turn into clay by the time it reaches this this point over here and on this side we're going to add another funnel but we need to add a filter on that so we put the clay filter over there and now this should be working so we can easily check by just adding the shaft over there items will come out they'll get washed and as soon as they reach this funnel they should be completely turned into clay but as you guys can see it's going very very slow and that's why this has also been designed with the possibility to go and get an upgrade like this so we can add three lanes in on these as well and it should wash just a little bit faster yeah that's going a lot faster and this should fill up a lot faster as well so this whole system is not very fast but it's already filled up this buffer vault over here which is not bad then also on this side i already rebuilt that same design we did over there right over here with the exception of adding these copycat panels and the reason we have these copycat panels is just basically so we can have lava in here and the lava will not escape and run all over the place but before we can get to baking the clay blocks to turn them into terracotta we first need to turn the clay balls into clay blocks which we can do the baking on so what we have over here is the system we're going to use and the first things first it has to be a three lane system because it's very very slow so we'll have a funnel right over there followed by a basin on this block with another funnel on this side 
and on the opposite side we'll have a little clay block as a filter and over here we'll have do another funnel which will just pick up the items again and then we're just going to add two more basins over here repeat the whole process and get this whole system set up okay easy and simple the whole bottom part of this is done i did make these filters um put out 16 items at a time i do not think that's necessary or it matters but we just did it anyway and now on top of these we need to add our press and if we do this will we be able to there we go so there's a press over there a press over there and just one on this side as well and that's it that's it for this design so now we just need to hook this up to to power so we can actually have some items moving on the conveyor belt but we also need to power these and these i want to make a bit faster so we'll have to tap into the power somewhere and bring it up here and just speed it up so as you guys can see it's already go pressing down it's already creating some clay blocks for us and the way we got this happening we just went down under again and pulled up the power right over here but like i mentioned it's going very very slow i will see if i can speed it up a bit more and then we've got that part done and then it's only the baking that is left so the baking part of this area has already been built and all i have to do is add the funnels power these belts and add the lava to those um, encased fans and just hook it up to the storage and then it will all be ready to go so the funnels are in these over here have filters to only take out terracotta and these over here have been set to only release 16 items at a time so we can now add the lava over here and if we put on the shaft back in here this should run and clay goes out and by the time it reaches the other side it should turn into terracotta there we go and that's that part done that was very very simple so this is going to slowly fill up with all the terracotta blocks which we will then send to a crusher to get crushed into red sand and from the red sand area go into a washer that will wash it and turn it into gold so i'm not going to show you guys how i built these because i mean the crusher is exactly that design copied again and the washer is exactly that rebuild over here so i'm just going to build it and i'll bring you guys back once it's all complete have the entire gold factory running we've managed to produce quite a lot of gold already but we've ran into a little bit of a problem see the sand's not coming in fast enough because it's empty and the reason why that's empty is because there's no more terracotta and there's no more terracotta because we can't keep up with making clay blocks as you can see we only have 12 clay blocks and yeah sand there's quite enough of but it's not getting processed fast enough i'll optimize it a bit more between episodes and get it working a lot better but for now i think we need to at least decorate this area a bit and make it look like something decent so i think it's time for a little build montage <music> And now when we run into this area, it looks totally different. I try to go for the almost a Western type style that meets the industrial era. And I think it came together quite nice. We've got all these crushes in these little structures with the raised roofs, all the vaults we try to hide in some form of or another of 
boxing system and it also looks really really cool and instead of just going with everything wood i did bring in the red bricks again because we've got a lot of it and it looks good it really fits the area and again more crouching wheels and so forth i did add clutches to different parts of the machine so i could turn it off but this is what we made before i started turning off the parts and currently we're just producing terracotta or up to the terracotta stage and we're already up to 30,000 terracotta. So I might turn it on a bit later and just let it run through and turn all of that into gold again. But sadly, that's all the time I have for today. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed the gold farm. And do remember, like, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments, what do you think of this entire Western style camp? Till next time, bye-bye.